in the previous videos we have completed with <coughs> operating leverage and financial leverage let's move on to combined leverage now combined leverage combined leverage cl <coughs> is a measure of total risk combined leverage or total leverage arises from the existence of fixed operating costs and interest expenses okay here combined leverage formulas you all know i just need to write one formula and after that you all know all the formulas of combined leverage there are there are two formulas you all know see combined leverage is equal to operating leverage into financial leverage this formula is applicable for static as well as dynamic formula i'll write it over here i'll show how it is applicable combined leverage static formula static formula first we'll write operating leverage formula that is contribution upon ebit into financial leverage formula is ebit upon ebt therefore combined leverage formula is contribution upon ebt i hope this is quite clear now degree of combined leverage which is dynamic formula you will write percentage change in ebit upon percentage change in sales into percentage change in eps that is of financial leverage formula percentage change in ebit now we get our combined leverage formula that is percentage change in eps upon percentage change in sales i hope this is quite clear to you all i'm sorry i hope this is quite clear to you all the formulas both the formulas i have done the most important formula is combined leverage this formula operating leverage into financial leverage if you want to if you want to remember you only remember two formulas that is operating leverage and financial leverage and automatically you will remember combined leverage formula i hope this is quite clear to you all firstly please pause the video and copy this much i hope you all have copied this much please pause the video and copy this much let's move on to illustration now illustration if cl that is combined leverage of a company is 10 times it means that eps reacts 10 times to a change in sales in other words if sales increases by 10% eps will react 10 times to this change that is 100% i hope this is quite clear we'll prove it in a formula manner degree of cl is equal to 
परसेंटेज चेंज इन ई पी एस अपॉन परसेंटेज चेंज इन सेल्स यर डिग्री ऑफ सी एल इज इक्वल टू टेन टाइम्स वेर एज परसेंटेज चेंज इन सेल्स फर्स्टली परसेंटेज चेंज इन ई पी एस इज नथिंग वी हैव टू फाइंड इट आउट परसेंटेज चेंज इन सेल्स इज टेन परसेंट सो दे फोर परसेंटेज चेंज इन ई पी एस इज इक्वल टू टेन परसेंट इन टू टेन टाइम्स विच इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड परसेंट होप दिस इज क्वाइट क्लियर वन मोर इलेस्ट्रेशन एंड देन वी आर कंप्लीटेड द क्वेश्चन कम्स लाइक दिस ओके ऑलियर ऑल्सो वी हैव डन नाउ अगेन वील सी दस कैलक्यूलेट परसेंटेज चेंज इन सेल्स if we desire to completely wipe off the eps wipe off the eps okay that is the desired eps is equal to rupees 0 CL is equal to ten times. Hope this is okay. I'm sorry, ten times. So how you will solve this? Firstly, you will write EPS is equal to percentage change in EPS is equal to hundred percent decrease. Down arrow means decrease. Okay. Here we used to always write ten percent because we wanted to increase it by ten percent, so only ten percent. Here we want to decrease the EPS by hundred percent, so we'll write hundred only. Okay, so let's move on to the formula. Degree of CL is equal to percentage change in EPS divided by percentage change in sales. Therefore, degree of CL is equal to ten. Percentage change in EPS is hundred percent, whereas percent change in sales we have to find out. Therefore, percent change in sales is ten percent. How hundred divided by ten? Okay. So, what is the percent change in sales? Ten percent. Whether it is increasing or decreasing. I hope you all have said decreasing because. There have been decrease in EPS. EPS will be decreased only when there is a decrease in the sales because there is a relationship between EPS and the sales. I hope this is quite clear. If you remember that format that I have given you, and I have said that the entire formulas will be revolving around that format only sales minus variable. If the sales has reduced by ten percent, then only the EPS will reduce to zero. I hope this is quite clear to you all. Okay. I hope this is clear. So, I want you all. to firstly pause the video and copy this first illustration and please pause the video and copy this much i'm writing one note over here desired decrease in EPS is hundred percent. Therefore, sales needs to be decreased only by ten percent. I hope this is quite clear, and I hope you all have copied this much also. Okay. One more thing, one important thing that I want to let you know is this. this all formulas are without taking preference share into consideration from here to from operating leverage formula as well as this financial leverage formula is also ha huh. formula this is also without taking preference share 
into consideration why am i writing this because there is a different formula for preference share if preference share is included in uh, uh, capital structure without taking preference share into consideration in capital structure consideration in capital structure i want you all to write this first and on the top of combined leverage formulas also write this without taking ps that is preference shares into consideration in capital structure hope this is quite clear there is a different formulas i'll be giving you all don't worry about that I hope you all have copied this much and written all that things what I have told you to do. Okay.